now we'll be discussing a very interesting MRI of the brain uh, you can simply pause the video you can try to find out the, what the problem or what we can see in this MRI of the brain so when we see this is a T1 weighted image now why it is T1 is it's very simple to understand what is T1 weighted and what is T2 weighted image we know that brain parenchyma neuronal bodies they are all placed in outside portion of the brain whereas the fibers or the uh, neuronal wiring or all the fibers which are the tracts which originate from the neuronal bodies they go to the center and they form all white matter now this is called white matter uh, there is reason we got behind it is because these uh, are highly myelinated and myelin is highly rich in uh, fat that is the reason why it appears much much fat on the uh, this imaging now uh, what we can see in this is very clear this is all white matter because this is appearing white and these are all gray matter where the neuronal bodies are there so white is appearing white in the center and gray is appearing gray that is the reason why this is a t1 weighted image so it is very simple to understand what is t1 and what is t2 if in t1 weighted image the white matters appears white and gray matter appears gray and that is exactly reverse in t2 so here in the white matter is appearing more of uh, gray and the peripheral gray matter is appearing white so this is t2 weighted image in t2 weighted image this is all ventricles and this ventricle contains csf so in t2 the csf appears dense white or intense white whereas in flare image flare is f l a i r that is fluid attenuated inversion recovery so t2 and flare they are exactly the same except that the csf will not appear white or hyper intense in this image but it will appear black so the color of the csf is inverted to uh, the hypo intense or black that is the reason why it will appear black on the t1 uh, sorry flare imaging it can be t1 flare or t2 flare as well now here we can very nicely see when we see very closely we can see that this is the white matter we can very easily make out this is all white matter because it, it is appearing white this is the gray matter now just see the typical brain this is all brain parenchyma which we can see the uh, sulci we can see so many sulci in here these are all sulci and these are all gyris these are all gyris so we can very nicely make out the sulci and gyri because this is a brain matter up to here but come just see this now this has no sulci no gyri and it is not at all looking like brain so compare this portion with this portion this is typical brain but this is not so this is not a portion of brain it is around the brain but it is not brain so it is something uh, different so this is a mass this is a soft uh, this is a, a lesion space occupying lesion is there this is all space occupying lesion which is there in the frontal left frontal lobe this is left and this is right so there is a tumor there is a mass which is actually present in this area this is all brain tumor a large brain as well which is present in left tumor now it is appearing hypo intense or iso intense iso means the uh, it is as intense as the normal brain so it is appearing hypo intense like mm -hmm. brain but as soon as uh, we give a contrast any malignancy if we have a malignant lesion, malignancy will take so much of blood flow because they have to increase in the size. So malignant tumors, they have significantly increased the blood flow. That is how 
there is more and more blood flow so they take more of a contrast and they enhance on con on giving contrast so as soon as we give the contrast to these patients they enhance and they become so much white which we can will definitely see but in this image we know that this is a t2 image this is a t2 image in t2 image this uh, increase signal significantly suggest that this is a vasogenic edema this is a edema basically and this appears dense white or hyper intense or whitish on the mri brain so on t2 or on flare imaging also this all dense white or hyper intense white or whitish thing is edema and that is very typical around the tumor so the, here is the mass here is the mass and around that there is hyper intensity which suggests that this is all edema this is very very typical so we can see a very nice sol large space occupying lesion in left frontal lobe that is having a significant edema which is very much evident now we can very nicely make out that this tumor is not only sitting but it is actually shifting the brain to the opposite side so see this is the midline so this midline is supposed to go like this but this tumor we can see it is crossing the midline and it is shifting the brain towards the right so this large brain tumor which is high uh, iso intense on t1 and t2 is uh, having significant mass effect is having significant vasogenic edema is having edema and it is causing midline shift these things are very very well visible now if you can, if you can see the tumor is very well uh, noticeable here but the tumor we cannot differentiate from the other brain parenchyma it means that this tumor must be invaded deeply into the brain matter so it has intra brain parenchymal invasion that is the reason why we cannot very easily differentiate between the tumor and the brain just see here as we can see this brain this is sulci this is sulci this is sulci this is sulci and these things are pretty separated but here this almost from here to here looks like a single piece so this brain is significantly invaded into the brain parenchyma so this is a large left frontal uh, 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 brain tumor which looks malignant because it is showing significant tissue edema it is showing significant edema midline shift and uh, it is showing brain invasion which is very very highly likely because of the brain tumor now this is the cortical cyst which are present and which are part of brain and over which the tumor is there now uh, i just want to show you one more thing this is the same patient's mri brain here what we can see is uh, when we, we saw this is a contrast imaging in this image we have given contrast because the contrast is dense white is much much white this is the sagittal vein where we can see the contrast this contrast uh, contrast goes into arteries as well as veins and wherever there is significantly increased blood flow there this contrast will accumulate significantly now why will this uh, contrast accumulate because wherever there is increased blood flow so increased blood flow will be seen in few things like in malignancies in inflammation like in autoimmune disorders in vasculitis and in infections so in these things the uh, there, uh, there will be increased blood flow to that particular area so automatically there will be large accumulation of the contrast now see this is so much hyper intense compare this whiteness with this whiteness this is so much white so much hyper intense because there is huge uptake of the contrast in this area means this is a highly malignant tumor with high blood flow to this uh, tumor so you can see uh, as here also 
it is very difficult to uh, differentiate between this tumor and the brain parenchyma there is no very clear cut lines between the tumor and the brain so this tumor or this malignancy looks invading deeply into the brain parenchyma with significant uh, mass effect with midline shift with uh, vasogenic edema so this tumor this brain malignancy is highly suggestive of malignant uh, meningioma and uh, or is very commonly can be hemangioma hemangioperitoma so for now this is all and we'll come up again with some interesting topic and thank you